despite what I Okay, let's get Monday up. Oh my All right, hi y'all. Just wanted to let you know that today is Master Plan Monday, all right? So every Monday, if you have a thousand followers, you are allowed to go live with me. And this is an opportunity for you to be able to get a mini strategy session, okay? These mini strategy sessions are typically for people who are who have a business idea, they're looking for a strategy to be able to, hey, they're looking for a business strategy because they are looking for funding, all right? They are looking to find ways to fund their business, but they don't know where to get started. So these are what these sessions are set aside for. So if you're looking for a mini strategy session and you do not have the funds to do so um, just yet, or you're looking for a way to kind of get your foot in the funding door, this is what these sessions are set aside for. My hour has been reduced for the collective to 175, but I understand that that is still a stretch for some people. So I set aside Monday's time block, because typically I don't go live on Mondays, but no problem, no problem at all, right? So typically I don't go live on Mondays. I only go live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday only, right? <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. But Monday was like my one day to kind of get everything together for the uh, the podcast, for the week. But people were just like, we need something else from you, sis. So here we are, right? So I don't need this personally, all right? My calendar's already full. I already got enough going on personally. So I'm I'm putting this on you guys to show up. If you don't, if you don't use these strategy sessions, you don't use Master Plan Monday, then I'm not going to show up either, Okay. That's kind of how I'm playing it. Um, last week, um, one individual, well, kind of two people showed up. But you need a 1,000 followers because TikTok has decided that you cannot go live unless you have a 1,000 followers. So I didn't designate that. TikTok decided that for us. All right. Hi. So for anyone who's coming in or just coming in, these sessions are designated for anyone who wants, hi, Michelle, who wants a strategy around funding anyone who wants to try to streamline their funding process who and, and you could and honestly we have a number of services so if you're post funding and you want a strategy around post funding we could we could do that right um if you want to talk about let's see let's actually let's talk about a, a couple different things that you can attack all right <clears throat> I started a new business selling a physical product online. All right, so um, so the the only caveat, unfortunately, Miss Raven C, and thank you for your interaction, right? Hi, De uh, Deanna. The only caveat is that you have to go live with me, okay? So I appreciate the interaction. I appreciate you guys, you know, commenting. But to make this work content-wise for me, because this is going to go on YouTube, right, is because I want to be able to have the face-to-face -face interaction. I want to be work content wise for me because this is going to go on YouTube right is because I want to be able to have the face-to-face -face interaction I want to be able to speak with you I want to be able to kind of like go back and forth where it's not like I'm waiting for you to type I'm waiting for me to get more context for your question that kind of thing all right um that's the that's the best way that I'm going to find that this works for me that's what I would like all right so I don't compromise my time on this platform that was that would be my takeaway for me. So, with that being said, um, give me one second. So let's see what we could talk about. There's a couple things that we could use for Master Plan Monday. All right. Um, all right. One thing that we could definitely do that I would love to do for Master. She said, "Let me go brush my hair." Okay. You also have to have a thousand followers because TikTok designates that you have to have a thousand followers to go live. So if you want to go live today, let me just make sure you can. Um, 
You do. Okay, so you should be fine. So go brush your hair and pop up. Okay, pull up on me. Okay. So um, one thing that we could do is mock review panels, right? So that's something that we offer as a service. So if you want to do a mock review for a, a project or something that you're going to be presenting at some point, especially if you're pitching, definitely, definitely pull up. We can tighten up your pitch. We can help you uh, develop some of your, like, sh uh, strengthen or develop some of your points. So that's something that you could definitely use these Master Plan Monday sessions for, okay? So the benefits to that is that you'll understand the perspective of the grant reviewers. You'll refine and strengthen your pitch or proposal. You'll increase your confidence before you submit or uh, present. And then you'll be able to identify and rectify some of your potential weaknesses, all right? So that's something that we could definitely do here too. Um, and then if you've already won, what we could do is help you with some of the post grant support as well. Okay. Um, and then if you haven't already create a sustainability plan, so we can help you with some of the sustainability planning. Now, when I say this is going to be a mini form of it, obviously I can't do everything within, I have to do things within context because of course you under, I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> um, can someone pay you to write up the grants or do you teach people to do it? We do both. So we actually have cohort two that's opening up in October. Yay. For everyone who's been waiting and signing up and joining the wait list. Our wait list is like 2,000 people deep for cohort two. Mm -hmm. 2,000 people deep now. Yeah. Yep. It's crazy. Like I looked the other day and I was like, damn. <laughs> Right, so lots of people are waiting to join cohort two to learn how to do everything that I talk about online and that like Sharita, Jolena, Nolita and all the other ladies like have spoken about and we've gone through and we talked about proposals, pitch, resume building, building your corporate resume, all of those things. That That is what, um, and like strategy wise, that they have access to me. Cohort two opens in October, all right? Um... So if you haven't already, the wait list is there, all right? Um, now, it's not like a first come, first serve kind of thing. I think that you just have to be positioned to do it. There is an extensive, and I did this on purpose because there's a lot of people who are interested and not committed to the process. All right, y'all? I don't want y'all, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to, sometimes I get on this app and preach a little bit and I don't want, I don't want to do it, right? But I have to. I don't need your money. I need your results. Okay. This framework does not work if you don't get the results, right? Like you paying for it is really a, a service to you. When you pay, you pay attention. When you invest in yourself, this is a skill that's going to help your business forever. Okay. I've been using these, the same framework for six years. All right. Six years, y'all. Nothing's changed. This is, this is instructional. All right. You understand? I've been using the same framework for six years. <laughs> All right. This is foundational. You're never not going to use any of these things in your business. There's a couple of things that you might have to tweak because just because of the times, right? Like COVID changed a couple of things, but not so much that you have to relearn everything. So again, you have to pay because this is just for you to pay attention. But I don't need your money. So that application process is to weed out the people who are not serious. Because I don't need people in there. Oh, I didn't know it was so hard. And I didn't know it was this. This is the way this training is set up. It's like a mini masters. All right. That's all I got to say. It's not for people who are just kicking tires talking about, oh, am I eligible for this opportunity? If that's where you are, that's where you are. That's not a judgment. But the call is coming from inside the house from here, all right? You're not ready yet. I need people who are ready to do market research, to analyze their business, to validate their ideas. You understand what I'm saying? We need, we need those people in there. Because if you are ready to do that, who are ready to take these SWAT trainings, who are ready to invest in their businesses for real? Because these, these things are going to take, these assets that you're going to build out are going to serve your business for life. You are never not going to ask for money. Period. All right. And no, I don't work for free. So never, it's never going to be for free. All right. These, these sessions that I'm doing with you online now are my, are my contribution to the collective. People have watched these lives 
people have watched these sessions and been finalists from these sessions alone, been funded from these sessions alone because they've taken the framework and they've applied it to their applications. Okay. This is my, this is my charity work here. This is the only time you will see me working for free. If you want to get on a call with me one-on-one, -on -one, that is a paid time. I value my time. I understand my value. Okay. If you're going to make money, I have, I'm going to make money too. All right. So how much is it for consultation? I prefer to do it. <laughs> so I prefer for you to do it. So consultations, are you, are you asking for a consultation for like a strategy session or are you asking for grant funding? Like for us to do the proposal, the pitch deck, the business plan, um, butterfly guidance. I just want context for your question. Um, okay. Hey, Flaka, how are you, dear? Okay, so grant funding. Okay, so we do the grant funding for you, but here's my deal, right? Because I am somebody that appreciates... Oh, thank you for the gift, Flaka. I'm somebody that appreciates quality, period, all right? I'm not... Again, I don't need your money, okay? I need the results. So I am not going to do grant funding writing for you unless... I am the one that also does your proposal, your pitch deck, and your and your business plan, period. However, I will sell you my process and my framework, all right? I, I can also walk you through. I can give you a consultation package. I can show you how to do it. If you want more one-on-one -on -one help and you don't want to do it in group setting, I can walk you through doing it. It'll be a certain set number of hours. You can purchase more hours if you want. You get more detailed help from me. I know that you're getting the result that you're supposed to be getting. I'll review it for you. I'll audit it for you. However, I will not do the work for you unless you, you buy into that package, okay? Because I cannot guarantee the quality of the work if I'm just applying on your behalf. Anybody can do that. However, has, has that person done the market research? Do they understand your industry? Do, do they know what industry you're in? Remember that interview with Alyssa who reviewed the grant opportunities? I think it was episode 48. She was talking alone about how most people do not make it to the next level of review applications because they don't know what industry they're in alone. Right? They don't know what industry they're in. Do you know what industry you're in? Do you know who you serve? Do you, know, do you have a risk mitigation plan? Do you have a market? Do you have you conducted market research? Do you have your projections in place? Do you know how to do projections? I I can't do all of these things. I can't have someone else do it and then now I'm applying and then I'm applying with somebody else's work. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I will do it and then I'll apply for you confidently because I know I've done the work. So it's either we do it together, I do it for you, and then I'll apply it on your behalf. Because I'm confident in being able to do the work. However, if you are more confident in your business, you have your things worked out, you can buy the framework, which is the system on how to track, how to find the eligible criteria for grants that you applied, that you're qualified for, um, how to you know offload this to somebody else. You can buy the, the system. You can buy the framework, all right? Because otherwise, I, I don't feel confident doing it. And I'm not putting my reputation behind somebody else's work, unfortunately, okay? It's even better to have someone do the whole package, pretty much, for real. I know how to save my lane and pay someone to do things for me, exactly. No, that, that's for real, like on, on God. So we have somebody, so we have a gentleman named Ayub who does the financial, he's a financial analyst, he does the market research. And then he also provides that data who does the, to help us do the projections, all right? So this is the market industry. This is the market research that he helps us do, okay? So he's he's the one that's the expert on that. He's helped us streamline our projections, our Excel sheet. He gives us all the data that we need and all the formulas that we need to be able to do it per industry. So am I an industry expert in every single industry? No, but if there's someone who's more versed in this particular industry, we offload that to somebody else because then we'll know that they are versed in doing it, right? Ayub has been doing this for years, though, so he's fine. And then we have our accountant, as um, as uh, Ms. Joy mentioned, who is the one that's overlooking to make sure that all of the our, our projections, our margin of error is minimal, right? Under 1%. You have to contact me directly, 
All right. So there's, you could, and you can email info at mentalmoneypodcast.com. All right. Um, I'll email you back with everything that's in the comprehensive business strategy and competitive analysis investment. That That is what pretty much you'll be getting in that one. And then um, that's that's how you'll find out information for what's in it. And then I'll I'll send you information about complimentary services as well. All right. So are you ready to go live? I just want to make sure. But anyway, yeah, so that's how that's pretty much set up. But so when cohort two opens up for people who are ready to learn about this process themselves, that application process is going to be extensive because I need to make sure you understand what you're about to get into because <laughs> it's not easy if you're not familiar with it. Do you think about Walmart grants? What do you mean? Do, do you think about Walmart grants? Like, do I do I think about them ever? I'm sorry. I think very linearly. So my brain <laughs> sometimes misses things. So I'm like, what do you think about them? Like, do I think about them before I go to sleep at night? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do I think about them? Yeah, actually, yes. If you have a product-based business, I think it's worth. So the question is, Butterfly God has asked, what do you think about... Um, no, you're good. Don't worry about it. So what do you think about it as far as Walmart grants? Is it worth the process? Yes. So Walmart actually has a really good program. There's a young lady in our group who was actually telling us about how she was going through an accelerator with them. She um, she had a product-based business, and I'm assuming this is a product-based business. She had a product-based business with them. Um, they were positioning her to be put in her in their stores, and they were giving her support, financial support as well. However, what they find is, and this is, I think this is going to be in a lot of those like accelerators where they're going to put you in stores. Um, and I think Jolena might still be in here. Let me see. Is Jolena here? No, Jolena's not here. But she might be able to vouch for this too if she happens to pop back in. But um, what what they find is that they want you to have a lot of units to be able to put in each store. All right. So if you do not have 2,000, 3,000 units to put in each individual store, I don't know if that might be an opportunity for you because you'll go through the program, you'll go through the, you'll get the funding or you'll go through the grants or you'll go through the accelerator, whatever the case may be. And then when it comes time to putting your product in the store, if you don't have 10,000, 15,000 units to be able to put into like, 15 to 20,000 or 15 to 10 like 15 to 20 stores to test out how your product is going to do in their store what happens and then it doesn't just stop there you have to do a lot of marketing okay you do so now this is where a lot of businesses and th this is actually what I'm, I'm working on a project right now last week I did not go live at all because I was traveling I traveled to Massachusetts I was on a lot of different calls with people who do funding, like who actually fund. Hi, Shop Renee. I was waiting for you. Who do funding, right? And it was just so kismet how it happened because one of the things that happens is people get funded and then what? Excuse me, y'all. My allergies are acting up terrible. So if I'm sniffling, I'm not sick. I just have the worst allergies, all right? And then what? So if you're going to get funded by Walmart, you are now... On a, on a public relations campaign, okay? You're not on a public relations campaign. You have to tell everybody where your product is, where they can buy it, who they can, like, you know, how many units you done sold from Walmart. You got to get Walmart Walmart's name out there. It's not about your product. It's about how they've supported you. And, and and this is not and and this is why post grant support. This is why I encourage people to get that that product, um, and also the product where we do public me relations and media outreach. Excuse me, because people think it just stops at the funding, and that's why I'm telling you, don't focus on just the bag. Don't focus on just the bag. And this is what separates the people who win from the people who continuously win. Okay? Period. If you want to build relationship with these organizations where they will continue to pull up on you and continue to have money for you, you have to make them look good. 
the whole point of them like and the and if you haven't listened to I'm gonna tell you what episode this is right now because this is this should be required listening for everybody. Hold on a second. I should know what episode number this is, but I, my memory shot, so forgive me. All right. Um, this is Uh, this is episode 48. Yeah, I was right. All right, so it's episode 48. So, if you, if you just should be required. You see? Look at that. I'm going to mention you in a second, Chabernet. Alyssa mentioned... I'm going to get to your comments in, in a second, you guys. Alyssa mentioned in episode 48 of the Mental Money Podcast episode. It's a, the, the title is Grants 101, How to Secure Funding for Your Business for Business Success with Alyssa Millette, right? She mentions that grant funders... Their objective is to to um, get a tax write off, okay, and to look good. It's PR. You think you think they sit giving us money because they they are they just have these heartfelt efforts? No, all right. It's a tax write off. It's a way to um, it's a way to mitigate some publicity. It's like a way to mitigate some um potential or future scandal that might come up let's be for real right like and 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 to pray to bring that point home to drive that point home even more remember the scandal that happened with tart not too long ago with the with the um racial discrimination low key no high key if we're being for real right there's a grant on the grant list that we that just dropped in September, like the one that we dropped at the end of August, and then the one that we dropped in September, Tart has a grant. Guess who they're targeting? Wild guess. Anybody. Okay. So now, <laughs> this is what they do this for. All right, y'all. While they're while they're seeming altruistic, they also get a tax break. So now, your job on the back end is to make them look good. All right. So create a campaign. If you're going to be wanting to create long-term relationships, this is what you have to think about. All right, I've been funded. Now what? Let me create a plan around how I can bring bridge a relationship with them that's going to be long-term and bring attention to my business and their business. This is not just about them, right? It's not only about you, but it's not just about them. Okay, it's a symbiotic thing. You want your product in the media. You want your product in the forefront. You also have to talk about them. Alyssa um, also mentioned, I think it was off camera. I don't think she mentioned this online. But one of the best campaigns that still gets talked about right now is, I think it was Faded, but don't quote me on that. It was a brand that Sephora did with an accelerator a long time ago. And they're still tying that brand to the accelerator to this day. This was years ago. Right? To the point where people are dying, crawling, selling their children to get into that accelerator because of what that brand was able to do. Right? To get into the Sephora stores. So this is how you have to think about it. So all that to say. Now, Chabernet says, um, she says, seems like too much stress for me. And then that's why we exist. Right? Chabernet says, and these companies will continue to support if you keep in contact. Now, Chabernet is in a perfect example of that. Chabernet was episode 49. Another episode that should be required listening because she breaks down her strategy, which I think is genius. What is this? Oh, it's, it's Joe, which I think is genius. And I think I, not, I think, and I will borrow from because I think this is the new framework for how funding will be applied in the future, period. I'm telling you, I'm going to steal her strategy. I'm telling you that right now, period. All right. Required listening, episode 49. Chabernet has worked with Comcast. She makes them look good. They continue to support her in damn near everything. And let me know if I'm speaking out of term, Chabernet. But they pulled up to her events. 
they continue to invite her for things. They purchase for her from her whenever she's um, whenever they have events. Chabonet pulls up to the events she's purchased from because they know that that money is being going to a good cause, right? So she's built a long term relationship with them because it's not just about thank you for the money. She's building a relationship, okay? So now, what is, how do I find grant funding for healthcare job workforce? There's a grant list. There's a link in my bio. You can try to see if there's opportunities on there, right? Um, okay, so that being said, are you still here, Miss Accountant? Let's get you on live. All right. I just sent you an invite. I do see your um I do see your comments and I responded. There's a link in my bio that says grant funding list. You can just see if you can grab that list and see if there's any opportunities on there that might fit your your niche, okay? Hey. Hello, hello. Are you able to see me, hear me? Um, I asked you to turn your camera on. I just sent a request. Okay. There you go. How are you? Hello, hello. Good. I'm good. Hey, Jolena. I was just talking about you. Thank you for popping up. <laughs> Okay, so talk to me. So I am in the middle of, so I'm a, the, my background is in accounting, so I'm 15 years in accounting, um, but I have gotten more in the niche of nonprofits, but nonprofits have less income option when it comes to just funding itself. So I've gotten into grant research for them, and now I support them by doing grant research on a regular basis, and I get commission off of that side of things. Um, but I haven't really built out the full dynamic of that. And I would love to kind of be more clean in how I just kind of present it. Okay, awesome. So if I'm understanding, you kind of do what I do, but from an accountant standpoint. Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, all right, I think you are, okay. Can you help me pronounce your name? Deanna. Deanna, okay, middle name so Joy. I, yeah. Okay, I didn't I didn't butcher it too too much. All okay. right. <laughs> so Diana, I think you are going to be the inspiration for why we start a mentorship program. I believe that. <laughs> it, okay. All right. So um, because I've been I've been playing around with it for a while. You're like the maybe fourth person that's kind of axed. So I think I think it's just time, right? Okay. So um You're an accountant, so I think you have a little bit more leverage than I do. And if, if we're just being honest, right? If I had to do a SWOT on both of us, this is what this would be one of your strengths versus my strengths, right? I don't have a license that will allow me to be able to leverage that kind of experience. I have experience as a strategist. That might be my strength for how I can conceptualize these things. But your strength is that you have a license that helps you deal with business owners on a finance from a financial standpoint in a different light right so i think that's one when we're looking at when we're doing a swat right and you know what a swat is yes mm -hmm. yeah. okay good. <laughs> good 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 just making sure okay so i'm not i don't i don't want to just be throwing stuff out there and then it just it's not landing so i just want to like be 100 percent certain so from us from the strengths standpoint that's something that you can leverage right i would definitely use that as a selling point right mm -hmm. um a weakness would probably be strategist strategy right so think more like a strategist okay so again i'm not comparing us because i'm trying to pit us against each other we probably could work together at, at some point right but mm -hmm. if we think about it from a swat standpoint my strength is um, and you're looking at it from a competitor standpoint, my strength is strategy. I may not have a license, but I can help and I have helped 
business owners secure their own funding because I, although I don't have a license, my brain works in a sense in a way where I can conceptualize what the next reasonable steps are using relevant industry information, right? understand and tying it back to the business's objectives, right? Understanding what funders want, right? And then also being creative. Mm -hmm. Now, can I, can I sell creativity? Probably. Can I teach creativity? Probably. Yeah. Right? But that's yeah. something that you're going to have to kind of like nurture within yourself to be able to um to be able to now move that weakness to a strength mm -hmm. well see, that's where i feel like my weakness is more in my marketing side and sharing why people need me um so i'm second generational entrepreneurial family so i feel like the development part of things are also i'm pretty strong in too but it's also the factor of i don't know how to market myself to the right people. So I kind of have been word of mouth for everything. And so because of that, I feel like I've kind of been stagnant in who I have as clientele. Well, then that sounds like there's an opportunity there, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so th that now we move to opportunity where now there's an opportunity to either gain a new skill set with the marketing or, okay, and and, and no shade, no tea, right? Because I'm, oh, I'm, very, I'm a straight shooter. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm a straight shooter. Yeah. You just gonna have to take it with love, all right? And this is kind of a weakness of profession, licensed professionals because you guys kind of just rely on the fact that I'm trained, so I know that you just have to trust me. You're gonna have to mm -hmm. get out of that. People mm -hmm. are gonna have to like you, know you, and trust you, right? And then they're also going to have to, you're, and then you're going to have to learn who you're speaking to as well, which you've, you've alluded to. So I'm not, I'm mm -hmm. just reiterating what you're saying. No, you're good. So once, okay. So once you get into, once you get to a place where you, you are having the right conversations with the right people, right? And you decide that. You can decide that. Like I, re I refuse to answer. Like if you pay attention, pay, just pay attention a little bit. I refuse to really talk to people who are asking me about what opportunities are out there. That's not what I'm here for. I want high level conversations, right? Mm -hmm. So get clear about who you are, what you offer, and who, what you want, and then you and then you kind of reverse engineer it that way, right? So you're an accountant. What's your strengths? What's your skill set? How can you serve, right? You are gonna be. You're going to be talking to, you want to talk to those people who are looking for you because that's what you're going to create content around. Yeah. You're talking about marketing, right? You're talking about sales. That's what you're going to create content around, people who want to have those conversations. Let's say you're really good at inventory, right? Or um, we had a young lady who actually, and, and to be honest, this is why I say we're probably going to be working together because I, th this community, there's a lot of people here who need an accountant. Okay, a lot. Yeah. A lot of us. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, the there's there was a, a one young lady who was working on building out what her product price should be. Let's say you were you specialize in that, right? The people who are tired of trying to figure out why their margins are abysmal you're going to be creating content around those people because you're talking to them. And when you're talking to them, they're going to be, guess what? They're, you're, they're going to only hear that, oh my gosh, I'm finally being seen because I'm, I'm going to, I don't want to, okay, I'm going to say joy because that's just easy for me to understand. Yeah, that's, that's really why it's there. <laughs> joy, okay. <laughs> because joy sees me. Oh my, she knows that I can, I, Every time I make a sale, I'm in the negative and I just can't get it right. And then also because money is psychological, right? I would also entertain the because and and breaking down the psychographics of your consumer, right? Why they don't charge more. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. getting clear. So you the opportunity here from what you're telling me is one, you need to get clear about who you want to talk to. Yeah. Um, it, and I feel like I, I've gotten clear, but I guess, I'm, like you said, I'm not in the right, in right in front of the right people. So I am, my background also, I have 
years with nannying, babysitting, and so um, Girl Scouts as well as a uh, Girl Scout leader, as well as being a, a basketball coach. So I've always been in tune with the youth. And so that's one of those things I've kind of come into factor of financial literacy is I create that normalcy for them, but it's not anywhere else. And so that's my goal is to gain that normalcy around financial literacy um, for the youth. So I feel like that's the reason why I've reached out to the YWCA and reason why I've reached out to the Boys and Girls Club is because I feel like it is that crowd I want to, but they don't have the funds for what I want to do. So I also, with the grant research, I incorporate financial literacy. Mm. So we merge so and create a course or a class. When you're looking for funding for them, are you looking for funding specifically for the organization to be able to incorporate a financial literacy mm -hmm. like branch? Or... So you know what? I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but you're not speaking to their interests. That's why you're probably not getting more clients in that area, right? Okay. Because although they would love to have a um, a branch that would help the kids, they're struggling too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the reason why I started getting into the grant funding because I feel like that's they're what they need before they need me. Right. So, would it be more advantageous? And maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm, I just want to say if I'm understanding this correctly, right? Would it be more advantageous if you look for funding for them and the kids? Okay. Yeah. Right. Because unfortunately, even with organizations like that, right? Like, for example, the CFO of that organization, whoever's the treasurer or doing the the finances, they're gonna look at the books and see, okay, we're gonna get a cash infusion of fifty thousand dollars, but there's like twenty bills that that money can go towards. And although this individual wants to help us in that way, this is the priority. Can we handle that 50 first and then deal with the kids later? Yeah. So if you can kill both birds with one stone and kind of prove that you can do that, I think you'll be having better conversations. And if you're willing to, which what sounds like take the cut on the back end, mm -hmm. then you might have a really great product. For them, okay. and I'm yeah. sure your clothes are gonna be way tighter. Okay, okay, yeah, makes sense. And uh, you, yeah, and so then, I'm in the midst of like creating my price structure and my like tiers for it, and that's the reason why I'm like I feel like I'm not in the full, like you said, the full focus of who, what their interest is, and that's the reason why it's been harder to kind of describe it to. Okay, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, no problem. And then if you want to connect at some point to work through what the offering would actually be right mm -hmm. and not only that but what the price point would be yeah. i'm sure you could figure out the price point on your own you're an accountant you'll be fine but <laughs> the the offering and the uh, i guess the presentation of it then we can connect again if you'd like okay yeah yeah, yeah definitely also like the presentation the content side is definitely like the last thing i think about i'm definitely yeah. I and then count it so that's one track mind type thing. So yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, I was like, I took notes a long way, so thanks. <laughs> yeah. So was that helpful and is there anything that you think I missed? Um, no, I I definitely feel like that's gold for me. But I also had another question for my client yeah. um who yeah. just got funded. Um mm -hmm. they actually will receive the money within the next couple of weeks. Um and they're a nonprofit. And their focus is to create curriculum through, for the summer program. And the goal for that six weeks during curriculum is to get a scholarship for college. Um, and right now we don't have the curriculum built. And that's kind of the focus of going forward is that, and also to be able to pay for me and uh, a location. So like they're looking for multiple things right now and that's an issue. Okay. Um... First of all, pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So okay. That's definitely thing. on my yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Everything <laughs> else, once you give yourself out, make sure you you get paid for. You've done the work. Make sure you get paid first, right? Because you don't want that yeah. to become the like you don't want to set that precedence where it's just like oh mm -hmm. you know joy we'll we'll take care of joy later and then it just never happens to get taken care of. So like let's yeah. not let's not. So. <laughs> 
we make sure you get taken and then also that teaches you know that also teaches them how to treat you you just just sure. you get taken care yeah. of. so that's that but then also what i like to i like to think about whenever i think about what is a priority what's going to pay me first mm -hmm. right like if if nothing else gets done what what needs to be done to get paid right so for example like if i needed to get more funding for to support what I just got funded for, what would a funder want to see that is already in place to kind of see that the project is moving along? You know what I mean? So like, for example, um, like if it was a curriculum, I already built out the curriculum. So maybe outsourcing that, uh, uh, what is it called? I, I'm the, losing the word, but maybe hiring someone that knows how to do that. So outsourcing that work building it out. And then if I have to look for more funding, saying, hey, look, we've just gotten funding. We've built out the curriculum. Now we need additional funding to support the remainder of the project. This is, you know, our runway, what we think is going to, what we'll need, how long we think the project will last, blah, blah, blah. So whatever the next thing okay. is that we can. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they are focused on yard work. Um, so that's one thing they do. And I feel like right now is their like big season and they really need a second hand man who has a truck as well. And I feel like when, when you said that continued money, I feel like that's one thing that they might need to just because that is one thing that keeps the doors and lights on. Or it, should I focus on the curriculum before the the right now man? That's a tough question because the person. OK, so what would one be person person right now doing it all. and if they hired one more person what would that mean for their bottom line that they can actually get back to the yards number that they used to that guaranteed all of bills are paid okay how soon do you think they can acquire that talent um pretty soon i feel like we're still in a good season of that to be realistic do they need to use those funds to also acquire more equipment? No, they have enough equipment. Okay, so that's tough. So then, how well, soon? Well, it, it is a large amount. It, so they're getting funded fifty thousand. Okay. Okay, so out of out of that fifty thousand, how much of it is going towards the talent acquisition? Um, like, like training. Like, you know, the actual cost of putting an yeah. ad out and all the things. I said all that was be around two, three, 2500 And how, well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to you about this. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay, it's, so it's one of those things I feel so like. Out of that 2500 like, how, how soon will they get a return and what would that return be? Um... Realistically, if they got a second person in, they could see the return within beginning of October, like within a month of being comfortable again. If you're pretty confident, if you're like 60% confident on that, I would take the chance. Okay. Of hiring that yeah. other person because then you're kind of like just moving. And, and kind of like, I told him I'm in control. And I think that was the issue before that having a, people come in and they didn't fully entrust him with everything. And I think that's the issue of like going forward. I told him like, I'm getting the check. We're, I'm handling it from the bank. Like this is all that from that right. point. So right. yeah, yeah. that's reason why I'm definitely proud of what I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think between you, the new talent, plus I think still making some incremental step towards the course itself, mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> will give the, the owner some confidence. Well, the, the, it's a nonprofit, so whoever, the executive yeah. some confidence and then just moving shifting the, the return back up to the top of the priority list for the course should be fine then okay yeah that helped me prioritize because right now i just had a list of like where funds should go <laughs> but no i okay. now have like total one two three like priority so yeah that helped out is the grant asking for a report at all um yes okay so yeah yeah okay. All right. Good luck, Joy. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, thank you for hopping on. I appreciate your time and good luck. And hopefully we'll connect again soon. But again, yeah. um, don't don't 
don't go too far because like i said a lot of us need you okay yeah. uh, I'm, I'm always in the room so i appreciate what you do okay no problem have a good one same to you bye all right Chabrene, are you joining me oh my gosh i'm so honored yes you're gonna be next okay <laughs> Trying to get Chabrini on. Chabrini, are you still here? Hey, Chabernet. Okay. I'm not sure what happened, but I'm going to try to reach her again. All right. Hey. hey. How are you doing, mental money? How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Hi. My name is Maza. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Good. My name spells Maaza, but uh, in my Maaza. social media, they call me Maazi RN. I'm a registered okay. nurse. I just want to give you my name, what it means. Um, I am so fascinated what you do uh, because yeah. you don't know how much a lot of people uh, listen to you. Uh, and uh, I am grateful for that. First of all, I want to say that. Um, the second thing I want to say is I have a firm, uh, which, uh, as I told you, I am a registered nurse, uh, and I have seen, you know, the shortage of nursing all over uh, the United States. And uh, originally, I am from uh, educated out of the state, and I have seen a lot of people who have uh, enough education to take the position of nursing, but with so many obstacles, they are not able to do that. And I'm supporting those people to get to the workforce. Uh, but for, for this time, I start this business uh, the end of last year, and uh, I, have helped a lot of people uh, to to get into the position where they want to be. But uh, my my plan, uh, I am al already uh, in a business. I have a business plan and everything. And uh, I am certified with uh, a women uh, business enterprise uh, also. And also I am registered in farm like the uh, I have uh, the registration completed on federal award ma management. So uh, I have all the position I'm right now after, you know, a couple of things to be secured. I'm eligible to apply for the government grant. But my problem is I need uh, some kind of support. I was wondering to ask you if you have, uh, if you are supporting in applying process, is that something uh, I can hire you? Or is there a course you can give me? I can just go step by step. I, I know I have the whole tools placed in, in short time and I have a lot of need, but I need a fund because I know the government want me to do that. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm glad you're actually talking about this because it it gives me the opportunity to tell you two things. One, I actually don't know very much about government grants, and I'm in the process of learning about them myself. 
right? So myself and a few of my community members, we spoke to a lady by the name of Joy, who's doing a training for us on the 19th of this month. She's done over 300 million in funding with the government. She works for a nonprofit um, that does solely government grant funding. So she's teaching us how to do grant funding and look for grant funding for the government. But it works very differently from how we look for funding on the private side of things, right? So for example, um, on the private side, we say what we need the funds for when we are looking to fund our own business and our own projects. But on the government side, they want to know how you're going to serve their their objectives, how you're going to serve their needs, right? So yeah. for example, if you, right. So if you want, I can send you the link for that training. Um, mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to be part of the training. There's a couple of other women that are going to be part of the training. And for anyone else who's watching and interested in joining that training for um, government grant funding, that is on the 19th. It's two sessions. So the first session, we're going to be walking through the actual like um, breakdown of what to look for, some of the terminology, breaking down how government grant funding works. And then on the other training, on the other side of the training, we're going to be going through a, an RFP that we think we would qualify for, and she's going to help us audit the RFP to see what kind of pieces we need to change to more qualify for that funding. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, so it does. Part, yeah. So it's a two-part training. So what I would need from you to make sure that um, I shouldn't just need to grab your name. Let me make sure Ma I grab your so My your name is Maaza. So yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure I got the username. I can message M-E-A-Z-I-R-N. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to grab, I took a screenshot. I'll sure. message you the link for when you can sign up for that training. Um, and that will start the 19th of this month. All okay. right. And the, the best thing about that training is 100% of the proceeds go to her nonprofit organization. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not getting okay. paid for nothing to do with, with me. She has a nonprofit. A hundred percent of it goes towards other small businesses that she's supporting in like different parts of the world. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. So um, the application process, like for any grant, this is another question I want to ask you. Does it have? Do you have any format? You know, the step by step how to apply for a grant, even if it is yeah. the government or non-government or whatever kind of you know, grant we have available, I really not need to learn because a bit, bit of money going to help my business because I'm just dying right now for, to get one because um, the, 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 my customers is going to be two phase. First, I get ready the, the nurses being certified and qualified. Then I'm going to find, you know, employer who are going to be also my my customers in two in two ways. So uh, so just to prepare those people, it costs a lot of money, uh, but I am um, willing to go through all the needy greedy and get where I want to be because the most of um, my revenue is going to come when I supply for a healthcare system. Yeah, no, for sure. So not for government grants. What I'm teaching is more for private, the privatized grants. Okay? okay. So the format, the format and the framework that we go through is very much. Okay. So first of all, I would say join the lives, right? So we'll go through a number of applications on live mm -hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. And I give you the breakdown on how to answer those questions. And then I'm going to start putting the lives on YouTube. So you can watch them back if you want. To watch them. Okay. Oh, that so would be great. We can actually watch how we break down the questions. All right. So if you want, um, um, you can, you can, sorry, one second. So if you want, you can just follow Mental Money Podcast on YouTube. It's okay. It's okay. And then that's where you'll be able to see the live replay. Okay. Um, so from that point on, one of the most important things uh, is that we have, if you want also a process, there is a process that you can purchase, like an actual system on how to track the applications, 
how to follow up, how to um, how to get if you're hiring someone to do this for you, a job description, offloading it, getting the approvals before they submit for you, a question and answer bank. It's pretty comprehensive that you can purchase for you to be able to offload this to someone mm-hmm. else and help you support making sure that you're always getting funded, okay? Or that your funding efforts are always, someone's always putting out an application on your behalf. So that's pretty much the two things that you can pretty much do and for now. All right, I am i don't know what's going on, but uh, sorry. All right, so Chabernet, are you still with this, babe? I don't think she's still here. All right. All right, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Is my phone dying? No, it's not. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, she oh she's still here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. My phone, my phone is to ring then back to back people called me, you know, they call me from all over. Um, yeah, let me turn on my computer. My camera. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, my phone rings right to left and uh, it got me disconnected. So we were to the point that, um, yeah, my my uh, my customers is going to be uh, both phase, like the nurses who are in need of, you know, processing their credential and getting their uh, requirement. And also I'm going to be supplying for healthcare system it's going to be both but to get to the point that my nurses are ready i need um even it's a bit of money to process their uh their documentation and get them through the process so that's what i'm looking for hopefully if you have any kind of support uh I, you, you told me that you have a youtube is this the same uh username you have for youtube absolutely okay I'm gonna look, you know, for any material you have. I know you guys give out a lot of information from your experience and expertise. Uh, I will look for that one. And if there is anything, if there is any possibility, you can support me uh, with, you know, subscription or anything. I really want some, some fund because I I just have to do this because this 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 has been my dream and I know what I'm doing and it's amazing and a lot of people are getting successful and it's going to help me with with what I do. Yeah, sure. So I'll DM you so I can give you the information for the government training and then I'll also mm-hmm. um ask you for your email and I'll send over any information I have about things I think might be helpful and then we'll sure. go from there. Okay? Uh, wonderful. So I will um Send you my phone number uh, internally so you can send me, you know, I will send you my email also. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Thank you for joining me. You are, you are very welcome. I am the one I need to, to thank you, by the way. Oh, um, no, it works. Yeah. We work together. Thank you for joining me and I appreciate you for coming. No problem. Thank you so much. Have a great day now. Thanks. You too. Okay, ladies. So um, I think it's it's just about to be one o'clock. So I usually uh, designate like about an hour of this time. Um, so one thing I did want to talk about before we left, um, and if you have any questions before we go, then you feel free to ask before we go but i'm just going to shoot out some information one i kind of talked about this on friday with the uh, with the ladies in the group on feedback friday and i just want to reiterate it here the tides are turning around funding not in a bad way in a good way if you're looking for funding and you are a minority in business there's going to be a lot more funding opportunities that are coming down the pipeline i pray that you guys are prepared for it between now and next april the opportunities are going to be bananas all right there's just there's so many businesses 
who are going to be understanding the need to support minorities, minority women. Um, and I just, I, my goal is going to be to make sure that you are, um, that you are positioned for those opportunities. Okay. My number one goal. So, uh, that's going to look like making sure that we're setting goals, making sure that we're, well, especially within the community, because I can't do that for everybody, obviously. Right. But definitely pumping out more content, more content will be available uh, more readily on YouTube. People who pay for the community will be getting more premium content, more touch points, more accountability. Um, because I don't want us to get left behind on this wave that people just feel the need to be generous. Whatever. We're going to take it. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use it. We're going to leverage it. We're going to build our businesses and we're all going to be great. And then we're all going to be on a yacht shaking our asses in the thong. All right. In about a year from here, from now. Okay. For those who are willing and ready to take advantage of these opportunities. So that's that. Um, also, for people who are asking about the K Kamala Harris, she said, yes, ma'am. So for people who are asking about the Kamala Harris opportunity, that just kind of like, not opportunity, but a announcement that just came about, there was 125 or 75 something million dollars that was awarded to businesses to uh, capitalize or help small businesses. Now, this were this was specifically for accelerators and or incubators. This money has already been awarded, okay? We're just finding out about it. That's one. Two, um, there is a, I'm gonna tell you the organization name right now. Uh, one second. All right. All right, so there's an organization called the Minority Business Development Agency. All right. If you go to M B as in boy, D as in David, A as in Apple dot gov, that is an organization that will have a list of every organization that was awarded. You can look to see which one was awarded in your state, in your uh, county, city, whatever, and they will have programs that you can tap into accelerators and incubators that will um, that that money was set aside for the government funded for you to be able to tap into. Okay. So that's what that, those, what that's what those funds were for. All right. Those funds were not for us. So if you're looking for grants, if you're looking for those things, it's not money that was set aside for us to be able to go out and find grants and get funding. That's not what it was for. So now that's what, that's to T on that. Um, it was 175 million. All right, but that's not this. So, and the reason why that's important, and again, kind of like bringing this full circle, we were talking about accelerators the week before last, right? The announcement came last week. And then we're talking about how funding is going to be more readily available in the future. It's here, guys. This is just the beginning. Okay, this is just the beginning. There's going to be a lot more opportunities coming down the pipeline. So make sure you're ready. That's all I have to say. All right. With that, on that note is 103. This will be on YouTube a little bit later. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some grant applications. The list for September has already been posted in the community. It will be posted everywhere else sometime this week. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye. Thank you for joining me.